I really don't know what he's doing. He wants me to taste test something. I think it's a blind taste test. What? Strawberries. Well, what are we doing? So this is, I guess this is part two of the strawberry experience. Um, he went out mm -hmm. and bought some regular strawberries. Where are those? These ones, are they imported from somewhere? United States. In the previous episode, we had tried out the Korean well, I don't know if it's going to be episode or just earlier. We tried out the Korean strawberries and they were delicious. Don't get me wrong, but at $12 a pop, it's pretty pricey. So tonight he is having me, I guess, do a comparison video. He doesn't want to be on camera. Can you be on camera with me? <laughs> this is my honey buddy. He is having me do, I guess, a comparison of the two berries. Drier, firmer, less silky, more tart, and less juicy. Softer, silkier, better aftertaste, less gritty. Second was the Korean one. Yeah. Wow, that's a huge difference. Like, huge difference. That's crazy. Shoot. Wow, it's so different. That Korean one is firmer than the last piece you gave me. But it's sweeter than the very first one you gave me. Oh, that was a Korean one. <laughs> oh. Actually, the flavor is a little bit different. It's a little bit more subtle. Almost has a slightly more floral note to it. Is this the Korean one that's going bad? Yes. Oh my gosh! A second one's going bad. We need to eat all of them. I don't think it's going bad. I think it was just like mashed up like they were on the sides. Mmm. So comparatively, it does make a difference. So this is the regular strawberry. So there definitely is a color difference. Right. So this is the Korean one. And then this is the regular domestic United States. United States one. I mean, they're both good strawberries, but definitely I could feel the taste the difference in the texture the most. So this one is definitely a lot firmer and drier, and the the seeds almost taste a little bit grittier, whereas this one's a lot silkier and smoother. Also, this is like a little bit more of the strawberry flavoring that we're really used to. It's a little bit more in your face. This one here, it was definitely a lot more subtle. The flavors were more delicate, but it had a really nice lingering aftertaste. Wow, I've never dissected the flavor of a strawberry so much in my life. It fills your mouth with juices when you bite down. <laughs> Where's this one? You gotta work for the juices, man. Both are good. Is it worth like what? Quadruple the price point? E. I definitely think you should experience at least once. Experience it at least once or twice, maybe three times on special occasions. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. He's now trying to fill me up with booze on a Wednesday night. I've actually never knew that there were so many different types of strawberries. Um, there is a, another strawberry that is even more expensive. I'll link the name of it here, but I think it's called like Emperor's Princess or something like that. That's what it translates to. It's in Japan. It costs up to like 50 yen per strawberry. Sorry, not 50 yen. 50,000 yen per strawberry, which is incredible. I think that's close to like four or $500 Canadian. So this is definitely nowhere near that, but it is definitely a much more, it, it's a very different taste than your traditional strawberry that we find here in North America. So anyways, hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button as well as that little bell icon beside it so you never miss a video notification. And until next time, guys, love you. Bye.